Hello everyone. The following tutorial is on drawing lines and curves in Rhino. A Rhino curve is similar to a piece of wire. It can be straight or squiggled, and it can be open or closed. A polycurve is several curve segments joined together end to end. Rhino provides many tools for drawing curves. You can draw straight lines, polylines that consist of connected line segments, arcs, circles, polygons, ellipses, and much more. You can also draw curves using control points and draw curves that pass through specific selected points. We're going to start out with drawing some basic lines and polylines. A line is a degree one curve with no bends, and a polyline is a series of lines or arc segments that are joined together. If you type line in Rhino and select a start point and an end point, it'll connect those points with a straight line. Remember, you can draw in different viewports, and if you go to perspective view, they'll be in different points in space. Let's type in polyline, and you'll notice as you click points, it connects each point with a line segment. Again, you can switch viewpoints while you're drawing a polyline and change its position in space. So it's not only along the X and Y axis, but also moving in the Z axis as well. When you type in polyline, there are also additional options beneath the command prompt that you can select. For instance, if you click on close, it'll close your polyline creating a complete loop. If we start another one, if you click arc instead of line, it'll connect each point with an arc segment instead of a line segment. Now let's type in polygon. There's some options. Let's keep it at three, so this is going to make a triangle. It's having you select a center point and now you're determining the distance of the radius. Let's do it again, and this time select Edge. Now you are defining one side of the triangle. Let's change the number of sides to 8. Select a center point, and now you're drawing an octagon. Another command that you'll use very often in Rhino is Rectangle. This just creates a rectangles in the space. If you hold shift, it'll keep it at a perfect square. Another helpful feature within Rhino is if you select a curve and press F10 on your keyboard, it'll turn on that object's or curve's control points. You see now we have a point in each corner that you can actually manipulate and adjust. You can do this on any of the curves that we've drawn so far. It can be very helpful in editing. Now let's go into freeform curves. Let's type in curve and select a start point, a next point, a next point, and it'll create a curve interpreted between the points you've selected. Again, if you select this curve and press F10 on your keyboard, you can turn on those control points and adjust them to edit your curve. You can also delete a control point and simplify your curve. If you select and press down the curve button on the tool panel, you also see a bunch of options for different ways to make curves. Experiment with these. This is a control point curve that connects the curve along exact points that you select. There's also a sketch curve that follows your mouse, kind of like drawing in the computer. Let's create just a field of points. So you type point and just keep hitting enter. If you go back to that curve tool and select curve through points and select those points, it'll connect those points you created with a freeform curve. There are also several options, such as closing the curve, that you can adjust later. Now let's look at conic section curves. If you select a start point, an end point, and an apex, you can adjust a conic curve within those parameters. Conic curves also include arcs. There are several ways to draw an arc in Rhino. For example, you can select a start, end point, and radius.
Conic section curves also include circles. If you type circle, you can select a radius, or you can type in a diameter. There are several options to create the circle that you want. And the last example is a parabola. You select a direction and then an end point. Again, if you select the curve and press F10 on your keyboard, you'll see that it has one control point and you can distort this parabola later. Thanks for watching.